Good morning, Plain City. This is Colton, and this is APN for April 21st, 2023. Congratulations, 7th and 8th graders, for completing your language arts state testing. We know you worked hard. If you're in the Geography Club, make sure to have your forms and money turned in by the end of today. Have fun at COSI. Also, if you want to have fun at DC, make sure to have your forms turned into Miss Kamar by May 17th. Do any of you want to participate in the end of your talent show? Sign-ups will be posted the first week of May outside Miss Garner's store. Today during lunch, these people will be having cake because of their birthdays. Happy birthday to Lucy B, Aiden P, and on Saturday, Jaden P. Speaking of lunch, today we are having pizza of choice, side salad, fruit choice, carrots, dip, and milk. Tomorrow is Earth Day, so if you see some trash, pick it up and run to the nearest trash can to throw it away. Speaking of running, good luck to our track athletes at their meet tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, J.A. This is Colton, and I'm signing off. I'm Henry, and this is what happened on this day, April 21st in history. In 1930, a fire at Ohio State Penitentiary killed 320 inmates. Many of them burned to death because of... They were not unlocked from their jail cells. The soldiers who were guarding the inmates had rifles and machine guns pointed at them, warning them instead of helping them escape. The inmates who survived only escaped because they found ways to escape the prison themselves. This was on this day, and I'm Henry. Have a good day, Jay. Hey, Jay, I'm Moses, and this is my segment for News of the World. So there's a website named Twitter, and Twitter is a real popular app because there's a certain age limit and the limit is 13 or older. They have that age limit because of some things that are posted on Twitter that are inappropriate for young kids. Also, another fact about Twitter that is that it is one of the top most favorite websites ever. But something bad happened. There's a big company named National Public Radio, also known as NPR for short. And the problem that has occurred with NPR is that they are no longer associate with Twitter. This was because Twitter labeled them as propaganda. This happened on April 12, 2023. This happened in the US and Canada. Okay, Jay, that is all from me, and I hope everyone has a great day, and this is Moses signing off. Good morning, Jay. I'm Henry, and this is your five-day weather forecast for Plain City. Starting off today, it will be a high of 68 and a low of 50, with a 60% chance of rain. Get your short sleeves and shorts out while you can, because Saturday will be 59 degrees and then drop back down to 37 with another 60% chance of rain. Stay comfortable, because it won't be getting any hotter on Sunday, staying in the 40s, then returning to the 30s overnight. That's a nice way to end your weekend, I guess. At this point, just be thankful for the weather we had, because Monday will start off in the low 30s, then slowly climb to the lower 50s towards the end of the day. Tuesday is going to be our first good day, with a high of 59 and a low of 39. That's it for the weather. Have a great day, J.A. Hey, J.A., I'm Moses, and this is the joke of the day. Hi, right, Jay. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Jay. I'm Stephanie, and I'm going to be reviewing a movie called The Maze Runner, The Death Cure. The movie's genre is thriller, science fiction, and action. This is the third movie of the series, The Maze Runner. It is a, originally a book, a book series that comes in five. The movie is two hours and 22 minutes long. The author of the book is James Dashner. James Dashner was known for making the series, The Maze Runner. His first release was a book called a Door in the Woods in early 2003. The Maze Runner was, is PG-13, and the main characters from the movie are Newt, Minhu, Teresa, and Thomas. Thomas leads his group um, of, to escape gladers on their first and final and their most dangerous mission to, yeah, to survive and save their friends. To save their friends, they must break into the legendary last city, a wicked controlled labyrinth that may turn out to be the deadliest maze of all. The setting starts in Denver. I think most people would like this movie because it is an action movie. The movie gave me mixed emotions and I enjoyed it because of that. I rate this movie a 10 out of 10. Hey Jay, today I'm going to talk about stress. 
It is something that we all have. I'm also going to be interviewing some students to see what kind of stress they have in their lives, as well as giving some clarity on what stress is and some coping strategies to work through it. Hello, Jay. I'm here with Aaliyah. Aaliyah, would you say you have stress in your life? Yes. Now, would you classify that stress as good or bad? Um, good, I guess. Would you say that it's manageable? Yeah. I'm here with Lennox. Would you say that you have stress in your life? Yes. Would you classify it as good or bad stress? Probably bad. Would you say that that stress is manageable? Mm, sometimes, yes. All of us have some sort of stress in our lives, and it's important to know that not all stress is bad. There is good stress that gives us motivation and enthusiasm to achieve something, and bad stress that can put a damper on things. There are four different emotions that we often describe as stress that are actually quite different. We have anxiety, fear, worry, and stress, which is the perceived inability to meet life's demands. It's helpful information to determine how to cope and how to identify what you're feeling. Aaliyah, would you say that you have coping mechanisms for your stress? Yes. Would you mind sharing them? It's okay if not. It's either counting up to 10 or counting down from 10. That's really cool. Thank you. Do you have coping mechanisms for this bad stress? Um, I usually just like color or draw sometimes. That's really cool. Thank you. If you don't go to therapy or something like that, it's important to have coping mechanisms. There can be many ways to cope with stress. There is problem-focused coping mechanisms. We can improve time management, which allows us to make necessary adjustments, analyze or recognize the things that we can or cannot control or take on, and we can also talk to people who can help us change the situation. This is almost always a huge help. Studies have shown that our comfort of friends and family lowers stress levels. There's also emotion face coping. Meditation or prayer, if you feel comfortable with either of these things, can benefit emotional stability. You can also use writing things like journaling, keeping a gratitude journal, or diary. It gives us a place to let out stress. Also, seeking out a therapist is good because they are trained to help you. Just from personal experience, stuffing stress down and pretending that it isn't there doesn't do anything but well up, and then you are just a ticking time bomb that could go off at any time. Don't let yourself get to that place. You could easily talk to people like Miss Lupia or a friend if you are struggling. I hope that everyone has either learned something new or found something helpful. Have a great day, J.A. Hello, Jonathan Otter Pioneers. This is Mrs. Conley, and I am here today to give you a book talk in less than 60 seconds. The book that I'm going to talk about is Alone by Megan E. Freeman. This is a book that's written in verse, novel and verse, are also called poetic verse. I chose this book specifically to celebrate National Poetry Month, which is the month of April. In this book, we have 12-year-old Maddie who hatches a scheme to have a secret sleepover with two of her best friends, but she ends up waking up to a nightmare. She's alone. She's left behind in a town that has been mysteriously evacuated and abandoned with no one to rely on, no electricity, no cell phone, no internet. She slowly learns how to survive on her own. And her only companions are a Wattweiler named George and all the books that she can read. For those of you who uh, love the book Hatchet, you um, like books about survival and um, realistic fiction, this would be a great selection for you. So happy reading and I'll see you next week.